I'm just trying to take this to the next level. Chain coming RLS. It's gonna be this design right here. I'm starting another channel too, cause that's really the sauce. You gotta have two channels to all my YouTubers out here. If something happens to one of them, then you gotta make a whole new account and start from scratch. Or it's like you build both of them up. This new merch I'm coming is different. It's like a whole different concept. It's the same brand, but I'm trying to put more effort into my edits into the quality of the videos just everything like june 3rd or something like that my first video drop so i'm really trying to get to a thousand by my one year mark i feel like that'd be crazy this uh, vlog man i look you've been slacking on the vlog a little bit i'm kind of like living in the moment you know but i gotta uh, Remind myself I gotta record, you know, it's my job. So I'm trying to keep this going, man. Uh, probably not gonna drink today. I was a little lit last night. Didn't, didn't get home till like 4 a.m. They were going to like 8 a.m. My cousins be on some turnt, <laughs> turnt vibes. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to take this to the next level. I never thought I would start a YouTube channel, like ever, ever, ever. But you know, here I am. Because of y'all, you feel me? Chain coming RLS. It's going to be this design right here on the chain. RLS chain coming once I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. I'm almost to 700 already. I started my channel in June, in June last, last year. Like June 3rd or something like that. My first video drop. So I'm really trying to get to 1,000 by my one year mark. I feel like that'd be crazy. That would be like some, you know, crazy stuff. And I could have been had a thousand, you know, but I wasn't always consistent the whole time uh, that I had my channel this last 10 or 11 months. But I say I've been consistent since like January, February, like almost every day dropping, but I'm starting another channel too. It's gonna be uh, Legendary Rich Gems. It's gonna be like my sit down videos where I give y'all game on like certain different things, finances, life, spiritual stuff, YouTube game, clothing brand game. You know what I'm saying? I'll t I might do some reactions on there. So y'all can actually follow right now. Legendary Rich Gems, G-E-M-S. Legendary Rich. Cause that's really the sauce. You gotta have two channels to all my YouTubers out here, TikTokers, whatever. You gotta have at least two channels. Cause if something happens to one of them, then you gotta make a whole new account and start from scratch. Or it's like you build both of them up. One could have 100K on it. One could have 70K, but it's like, if you lose the 100K channel, you know, you starting from 70 or even 20k 10k 5k 1k as compared to you know nothing so and i've seen people like personally lose their accounts so you know i don't think it would ever happen to me because of the type of content i make i don't really make like rated r stuff or like go against the guidelines for youtube too much but you know you never know so or somebody hacked it or you know whatever second channel coming soon look at this view bro like i know i keep bringing it up but it's the vibe man i'm chilling Last time I was down here was like five years ago. So it's been, like, yeah, five years. It was like a couple weeks before my prom in uh, high school. That's the last time I was up here, but I like it, man. I like it, it's humid, but you know, it's better than the snow. I'll say that for sure. But yeah, man, just trying to keep this vlog going. Let me know like video ideas or if you guys like the content. I'm trying to put more effort into my edits into the quality of the videos, just everything. So and a lot of people think I use a camera. I use my phone. I just throw it on cinematic mode. I got an iPhone 15, but before that, I got this phone like four months ago. Before that, I was using the 13 Pro and it's still pretty good. It's not as good as this camera, but it's still pretty good. So uh, that's what I be telling people. Like you don't need, you don't need a camera really at all to start a YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of people do it off their phones now. For me, it's like faster and easier to edit too instead of like one the camera battery only has like an hour this i can record as long as my phone is charged and i can just edit it upload it right then and there with the camera you got the sd cards you got the batteries that run out you got to hook it up to your laptop transfer over all the clips edit it on the laptop i feel like it would slow me down so i probably won't get an actual camera until i get like a cameraman who can follow me around and do all my edits so, you know once i get up there you know which i will you know i'm just trying to get i'm hitting 100k this year i'm trying to hit a kind of k trip star oh but yeah man they all getting lit i just 
came up here, man, to have a little chat with my vlog, man, updates y'all, you know what I'm saying, let out, you know, some feelings, because, you know, y'all like family to me, you know, whoever supports me, I support who supports me, I, you know, I appreciate it for sure, so, you know what I'm saying, new merch on the way, it's, it's, it's nothing like, it's crazy, like, I'm dropping more Dripstar merch too, but this new merch I'm coming is different, it's like a whole different concept, it's the same brand, but I think you guys will like it, because you know what people like, you know, this is when it comes to the YouTube videos and to the merch, like, I know the stuff that will go more viral or stuff that will stick with people more or stuff that will, you know, keep me around longer. A lot of people have been telling me to do, like, the studio videos and stuff like that, but I don't really feel like, for me personally, it's not really my thing. And, like, I don't feel like there's longevity with it. I feel like there's no replay value on that compared to, like, you know, actually living life, having it be real and authentic and just recording yourself. That's what I've been doing, so. I'm doing the public interviews, too, of course. Those are going crazy. That's what my channel likes the most to see so far. So I'm not going to be doing them forever. But once I get up there and I get a name for myself in the YouTube space, I'm probably going to slow down and not really do them. I'm, I want to get to the point where I can, like, just do car content, just vlog how I'm doing right now and just, you know what I'm saying, just talk to you guys and get paid. What up, my boy?